What, what made me first want to use Gibraltar and use Iraq in general uh, was just seeing how easy everything was to set up, have it almost dead perfect every single time. Things are locked in place. You can have whatever setup you want. It's clean. It takes up a lot less space. It transports super easily. And no matter where I was in the world, I can know that once everything's locked in and everything's set back up, it's set ready to go. What's up everyone? I'm Josh Devine. Uh, I've been playing Gibraltar for well over 10 years. Um, I was first introduced to the company uh, when, uh, actually the first time I ever got my hands on an actual rack uh, was when I was playing with One Direction. Uh, we realized very quickly that having a, a, a riser, a specific amount of space and the amount of drums and cymbals I wanted uh, to use or needed to use, um, we were running out of floor space quite a lot. So we went and bought my first ever Gibraltar rack and uh, actually bought two racks and I toured with them for a good five years uh, and I've never looked back. If I had to choose just one component of my, my rack that I would say is a game changer, for me I think the system that allows the snare and the hi-hats, I'm going to choose two, I'm going to cheat, choose two. Being able to put my snare on the rack and not have to have big branched out legs and the same for the hi-hat, not having to have these supporting legs and actually have them come off the rack was a huge game changer to me. Yeah, just being able to have a bar that ran from the rack to the snare and have a little kink in it. So you can still have, if you don't have a double kick set up, you can still have your pedal bar running through it. It's, it just made life so much easier. So. No matter where I was, again, the rack set up, my snare's exactly where it needs to be and I don't need to worry too much about what's happening down here because it's all very clean and just perfect. The same with the hi-hat. So I think that really was a huge, huge game changer to me. Being in the pandemic, it's forced a lot of people to be home a lot more. Um, for myself, I got an electric drum kit set up at home. It's not in the biggest room. It wasn't a lot of space that I had to play with. Uh, so I went with the, well, based off the Stealth Rack. Um, and it's a very similar setup to my acoustic kit. I have two side like Stealth Racks going off. The, my left hand side from drummer's point of view, again, the snare and the hi-hat comes off. So it's, everything is completely off of the racks. Um, it just allowed me to have so much more freedom in a smaller space uh, to be able to set up everything I needed and to be able to make everything fit and still look great. Even in the smaller room, it kind of makes use of the space and makes it look monstrous. It looks really, really, really cool. Um, but I've got a couple symbols coming off the left-hand side, a couple coming off the right-hand side. Um, and yeah, it's just super, super easy. Whereas my acoustic set, I've got a lot more. I actually have another bar that comes around the side that I have a couple of these tables on and even a laptop stand as well so I can run tracks when I need to. Um, and the greatest thing about having a rack, again, without it just being, you know, good space savers and stuff, the, the possibilities are endless. A, a few times I've just stuck random trigger pads in and, um, if, you know, my setup changes a fair bit. So sometimes I have three toms on the top, other times I have two floor toms and another tom in between. Having the rack bars there just allow for literally endless possibilities. So. Uh, yeah, it's definitely a much needed and very necessary part of my whole setup, acoustically and electronically.